the only other sort of extra bit that we should probably talk about with effects is movement effects. So if I grab these four lights and just whack them on full, um, again, uh, you can see down here I've got my colour parameters here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the, the uh, position button and you'll see position is now here. All right. And if I had a console that didn't have my encoders, this time when I go shift double tap on uh, two, you can see on the monitor that the um, the the uh, types of things that I'm getting here now are more movement based effects. All right. So if I select a ballyhoo, you can see on the stage that instantly I've got a um, a moving effect of a ballyhoo. All right. Again, a new uh, cue list. We record this as an effect in this cue list, and we can then trigger it as required. Now, there's no reason why you can't have um, cue lists doing uh, things like um, moving position kind of stuff, and then start to introduce your looks, which we haven't really talked about yet, as the things that are putting colour over the top of your movement. Or you could put a, uh, a cue list that has a colour effect over the top of another cue list that does a moving position kind of thing like we're doing at the moment. So the limits are really only in your imagination. Uh, I don't really see any limit to the number of cue lists that you can run on this console. There's, uh, uh, I certainly haven't hit any particular limits and uh, I dare say the hard limit would come with the size of the hard disk but, uh, uh, and the, the speed of the processor because of course the more effects that you have running at the same time, the more um, processing power that's actually going to need.